During the recording of this video no fucks were given about your opinion or to the possibility of hurting your feelings. Also this video might contain footage of extreme violence, graphic sexual content, double penetration scenery. We do not take any responsibility for damage caused to your already fragile psychological condition. Viewer discretion is advised so consider yourself warned. Hey guys, Part Kenhill here and welcome to part 2 of Outlast 2. <laughs> So hopefully this video will be shorter, I will spend more editing than on, than on gameplay footage. So uh, last time we, uh, I played this game I was in this, this very very scene and now it's time to move forward and keep, keep on going with the gameplay. Okay, there it is, the entrance. This one is closed, of course. I'm not actually spending any time reading this. I'll be pay attention to batteries that might appear wildly on the... Look at this Mexicano here. Mexicano. What the fuck? Motherfucker! <laughs> Fucking tumor boy. Anyway, let's move on. I don't know, if, if I'm crouched, I don't know if I make less noise and I attract less the attention of my foes in the game. I think that's like the fat guy from Ultras 1. Anyway. Oh, well, someone is being raped in next door. Can I can I watch it? Oh god, Blake. Are you okay? No. What the fuck? I don't know. Oh, what a stupid uh, question. Run. Right there. She's visibly hurt. She was raped. Paul Wynn. <clears throat> Lynn, where are we going? Away from here. This game is ah, oh God. quite is literally <laughs> approaching the same style as the Outlast 1 and Outlast Whistleblower. Although on a different type of environment. So I'm not even I'm not touching any key, it's just a cutscene. I hate cutscenes in games. Mostly stop. the ones you can skip. Somehow, the developers of the game Jesus think, Christ, well, Lynn. you like to play What's a game, but we want you to see a cutscene that you can't skip, so no, fuck you. No, we were all dead. And we oblige. It's okay. I'm here. We're gonna get out of here. We allow ourselves what did they do to, you? to be penetrated I can't talk about it. by the game developer's <laughs> dick. Basically, Don't that. Ask me. So I was saying yesterday, this is... I would imagine this game this game is situated in South Carolina. Where the land of dreams and incest exists. He's insane. They're all fucking insane. Please Blake, I just wanna get out of here. I just feel my ass for something. It looks just like this epic couple walking in um, nature. Pretty much that. Let's just get away from this place. Please. So my English, uh, as you might know already, it's very, very bad. It's very cancerous. Um, I would say I would do it on purpose, but when I start recording, my English level decreases and reaches the bottom wall. God, no! No! God wants the child. God wants the child. Get off me! Get off me! God wants the child. Lynn! No, you... No! No! You motherfuckers! Get, no. get off me! Get. This is what happens when your uncle visits you at 3 a.m., right? I mean... Lynn! Is it just me? It's just my uncle? But does that? No? What the fuck? Here 
I mean, it has no tits, so I, s I assume he's like a man or something? Jesus Christ. Being teased by being licked and then being punched. What a dream, I might say. Jesus. Oh shit! Lynn! So, being sexually assaulted and physically assaulted, or being verbally abused oh no that's like my daily life on the video game Jesus God. it's the cult i have to go two like sides. this this direction fuck fuck these guys so i can crouch underwater you don't suffocate because your lungs can absorb water oh okay you suffocate you can drown I must say I'm enjoying this game. Like I said, like in the last video, I posted out in the first mission, and I never played it again. So I need batteries, like now. I remember in the first gameplay, like in the, in the first game in Outlast One, or the, the chasing scenes were very very insane like you really had to know prior to the chasing scene where you have to go jesus christ and another dream why do i have, why do I have this kind of tissues in a fucking classroom i mean this tells a lot about the music teacher i'm sorry i have to do this you should have loved me you should have helped me Jesus, forgive me. I don't know what to do. I'm so, so sorry, Jessica. Oh, there's Jessica. Jessica and Lynn. When we were... I mean, look, look at what? The child NPC look, of Lynn. Back in the fourth grade. Just like the yeah, old NPC, but just... smaller. Like, they scale up the NPC, put some bigger tits. So we can't arouse pedophiles no more. And that's it. I like these rooms where just one door is unlocked. So it forces you to go in a certain direction that the game wants you to go. And if you recall the first video, the first part of this gameplay, this is like, I think this is the same corridor where the blood scene kicks in. And I'm pretty sure that was heavily inspired on the shining the but like the blood scenery of the shining anyway i presume that guy is not friendly anyway i'm gonna run towards him because i'm stupid so this is what, this is what a troubled mind looks like i presume I don't know. Actually, I'm doing. A <clears throat> I'm doing. So I'm recording a gameplay of Fallout New Vegas. Actually, I'm recording a challenge, a self-imposed challenge. And instead of instead of making such uh, like a walkthrough, like 
part by part the entirety of the game I actually will highlight uh, why I think it's most important. I will compile it on a video and I will narrate it. No, I can't jump this fence because my legs are basically two wet noodles. Oh, there is an open gate. And I'm back to reality. When reality kicks in, when the effects of the drugs fade away. You're him, ain't you? The outsider. No, so they killed you, didn't they? No. Not yet. Okay, Boomer. Well, they'll do it if they find you out here. Come on. Who, Who are you? Fuck is this guy? My name's Ethan. What do you mean? Are you one of them? What do you mean, are you Which one side of them? Are you on? I mean, why ain't I trying to kill you? I've been unborn. Seen too much to keep the faith. But you're not one of those other ones. The, heretics. The, the heretics. Didn't say squat, but my wife got skull. Had to get cast out. Didn't complain with nah. Pressed himself on my Anna Lee. And she not but 15. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm not sorry. My grandson. Baby, he put in her. The one thing I ate the most uh, about YouTubers. Like, when they say something, like... Not they weren't supposed to say. They mean it. They say it, but then... They're... Original fans get upset because they said something that offended them or offended someone else they liked, and they instantly come with an apology video. So, like I was saying, those apology videos look just like a poor attempt of making an extra video of self explanatory, being self explanatory of something they said that offended someone, like when shit kicks back, when shit hits the fan and well, it's sprayed all over your face. And you're like, oh, you know, I apologize. I didn't mean, I don't really mean to say that. Of course you meant to say that. So, do I have to play the banjo? You want to make a band? I mean, you have a guitar, I have a banjo. We can make a country music band in here, South Carolina. Oh, I have to go to the attic. I mean, imagine being approached by this strange guy. Like, all dirty and shit. And he said, you know, just come to my attic, let's see what's inside of that. <sighs> hey, another bench. Is he coming as well? Of course not. So it puts me in this... Oh, I can't sleep actually. So it puts me in this, this some kind of like underground floor. Same where Anne Frank... Uh, lift. Bruh. Anyway, like I said, uh, this is getting. This is nine minutes from the half an hour mark. I won't post a half an hour video today because today I have more time to edit the video. I will not be as concerned as doing the rest, like the rest of the content, like the thumbnail, the warning video, like the warning video that you saw in the previous video. Probably some parts will be cut out, and hopefully I'll find a gameplay scene when I can actually stop recording. I don't need your help in finding the devil's whore and interrupt me. No questions even now, other heretics at chapel. Hey, I'm here. I'm done here. What the fuck? Your daughter. You send sense to the night. Please, please just let me talk to now. Yeah, it looks like my mother in law. No. Just yeah, kidding. Just looks like my ex girlfriend. His seed begat the enemy. God help me. Anyways, I'm single by the way. Just let me talk to now. I'm not. Just kidding. Thank God there is coral farm out there. I mean, 
I don't know if you can call a cousin girlfriend, but uh, I mean, it's the same thing, I guess. Sometimes when you have to have fun. And. I mean, this gameplay just proves that. This game just proves that. South Carolina proves that. Alabama as well. But if I don't ask an Alabama porn star to work around, they're like, dude, please. I've been doing that since the beginnings of the time. I mean, this coronavirus stuff is very. I hope you find your daughter. It's very overwhelming. Not the fact that I have to stay at home and everybody has to stay at home, but the fact that it's getting so much attention and such a recent virus, nobody really knows nothing about it. It's just that's very overwhelming. You didn't give me up to her. Not even though she Thank you. Hopefully, you recorded that. I mean, you didn't record the killing scene, you're just recording the dead body. So this is what a bad movie maker looks like. Like, this is what a bad director looks like. So probably this is the part where I will end the video. Hopefully you liked, if you don't, put a dislike. Hopefully you learned something new today, and we have some fun. Uh, see you next time.